what can we do for five minutes, five minutes to activate ourselves when we feel tired because of the day. So there's lots of easy techniques you can do for five minutes. So for example, if you're finding this area feels quite tight and tense, you can just take your fingers and you can just very gently stretch your fingers away from each other and you should feel that muscle starting to relax, but it also energizes and stimulates that area. We tend to have a lot of lines between this area because we concentrate, we squint a lot, but actually the more we can do this and just gently stretch this muscle out, we soften it and we prevent lines in that area so that's a lovely one to do on a daily basis it feels good actually absolutely it takes all stress away it does it feels so good it so. does and you can also just very gently with your fist so this bit here you can just sweep across and lift off and this only takes a few minutes to do. And the reason we're using the knuckles there is to relax the muscles, but also to boost the collagen and the elastin in our skin. Now the collagen and elastin are the plumping agents in the middle layer of skin. From about the age of 17 or 18, we tend to lose the collagen and elastin in our skin by about 1.5% per year. So it's important to find ways to help boost that collagen and elastin. So our skin looks more youthful, more energetic and plumper and firmer. So massage techniques in face yoga will help to do that. So it's like a yoga session, like the, the beginning, uh, the warm up, the main part and the relaxation part. That's how you do it. You have two choices. You can do it like that if you want to do a longer program. You can start with some massage techniques, then do the stronger exercises, then finish with some relaxation and acupressure. However, it also works very well as standalone techniques. So you can go straight to one of the stronger exercises. You can go straight to an acupressure point, straight to a relaxation. The face is always moving all the time. It's not moving in a controlled way, but it's moving enough to allow it to be warmed up to to do any of the exercises straight away. I asked you before about how we uh, exercise ourselves when you are feeling down, very yes. tired, tired mm -hmm. not down, depressed, but tired, mm, down. Absolutely. Tired after a difficult day, a yes. hectic day. How do we try and find a way to relax ourselves before mm. sleep or when we wake up in the middle of the night? Yes. When women are in menopause, yes. they don't have a, sleep, a good sleep. They yes. wake up three, four times yes. during the night. So how can we go back to sleep? So there's lots of techniques you can use. I really enjoy um, an energy technique, which is where you just bring your hands up in front of your face, just a few centimetres away from your face, and then just breathe deeply here. And as you breathe deeply, just be aware of the energy between the hands and the face. Be aware of that space. And then very, very gently, still breathing deeply in and out through your nose, just bring the hands onto the face. Allow the forehead to relax, the eyes to relax, the cheeks, the mouth and the jaw. Take one more deep breath in and one more deep breath out and then gently bring your hands back down. Fantastic. And we really have to have a healing power in our own hands yes. and we often are aware we of this it. healing other people but we can use it to heal ourselves as well. It's very simple but it's very powerful. It is honestly. And also I remember you said this, you, you give us some points like the acupressure point yes. that we can do for sleep, for good sleep. Which is excellent. So you just press in that point and you can just breathe deeply. And as you press this point, it's also very good for eye strain. It's also very good for preventing headaches, but a very renowned point for helping with insomnia. So if we find that we are not able to sleep or we wake up in the night. And another very calming point you can press, it's just above the head here, on top of the head. And again, you can breathe deeply in and out through the nose. This just helps to balance all the energy centers throughout the body. It's a very, very powerful point. And you can do a little massage with all the acupressure points as well. So you can just massage in one direction and then you can just massage in the other direction. Okay, perfect. You look and feel stunning. I know you feel good. How do you feel that whatever you do has so much impact in the world? For me, it's my passion, it's my love, it's um, everything I enjoy doing it, and I enjoy sharing it with other people as well. I know what it's like to feel unhealthy, I know what it's like to feel stressed, I know what it's like to feel down. So I just want to give people uh, simple and easy and effective techniques that they can just use to feel healthier and happier as well. Danielle, thank you so much for sharing all this wonderful thing. It was a great experience meeting you in person. Oh, thank you for having me. It's been wonderful to be here. And do come back soon. I will, of course. 
And thank you all for being here with us today. And don't forget, the best exercise for being healthier and younger is to smile to yourself and to all the world around you.